Okay, my name is Dave McKill. I'm the program leader for ERIES Program 1. And Program 1 stands for RainFit Environments. In RainFit Environments, as you might expect from the name, uh, we deal with uh, situations where there is no irrigation and hence no water control. And the major problems in these areas are either lack of water or too much water. In the case of lack of water, you have drought stress, and this is a major problem for rice production, particularly in the great rain-fed areas of South and Southeast Asia. Uh, and then, of course, uh, in the case of excess water or submergence, that's also a problem, and it seems to be an increasing problem in many rice-producing areas in the tropics of Asia. So we are dealing with both uh, drought tolerance and submergence tolerance uh, in our program. In addition to drought and submergence, there are associated problems usually related to uh, infertile soils. Uh, these could be shortage of nutrients or in some cases toxicities uh, and salinity. And so um, another area of our program looks at developing varieties and management practices to address the uh, adverse soil problems. So for drought, uh, we've had some very good uh, success in drought, uh, mainly in terms of identifying varieties that have tolerance to drought stress that can be used by breeders to improve drought tolerance of the popular varieties. We've also identified improved varieties that combine uh, drought tolerance with high yields. And these varieties can produce yields that are in some cases double the yields of intolerant varieties under drought stress. In addition, we've identified some genes that confer quite high levels of drought tolerance. And we're now analyzing these genes, trying to transfer them into improved varieties. In the case of submergence, we've identified new management practices that greatly improve the recovery from submergence. And when we combine these with tolerant varieties, they, they can result in uh, dramatically higher yields. Okay, in, the area of, uh, in the area of upland rice, we made quite some progress in terms of identifying uh, fallow management options uh, and also in identifying varieties that are more productive under upland conditions. And this work is being done mostly in Laos and in Vietnam. In the Laos output on intensification and diversification, we've been doing an analysis to identify where the opportunities are for introducing new crops in rain-fed systems. Uh, as an example of that, one of the very promising technologies is introducing earlier maturing varieties into rain-fed systems where that allows the farmer to harvest the crop earlier than with the traditional crop. I think because of some, some of the advances we've made in stress tolerance, uh, we've attracted uh, some new uh, important funding for our research program. As an example, we have a new project on stress tolerant rice, which is being funded primarily by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. This is a fairly large uh, project which addresses uh, the problem of abiotic stresses. Well, just in summary, I think uh, we've had a very uh, successful year uh, for Program 1, and um, it's very, been very impressive to see the kind of impact we can actually have in these unfavorable environments. This is where poverty tends to be higher, and I think that's one of the major uh, objectives of ERI is, is addressing the problem of poverty in the rice-growing uh, environments.